This is the Danny K Show with Harry James and his music makers. Presented by Pat's Blue Ribbon, 33 fine brews blended into one great beer. Yes, neighbors, for your entertainment, Pat's Blue Ribbon presents Eve Arden, Bob Jellison, Benny Rubin, Shirley Mitchell, the outstanding music of America's top band, Harry James and his music makers. Yours truly, Ken Niles. And those 33 fine talents blended into one great comedian, Danny Kaye. Yeah! Well, neighbors, a great honor has been conferred on our boy, Danny Kaye. He has been appointed chairman of the 7th War Loan Bond Drive in his neighborhood. For the past week, he has been busy recruiting bond sales, and as we look in on him now, he is recording his activities in his daring diary. Dear diary, Monday. Eve Arden came over today to type the speech I'm scheduled to make at our neighborhood bond rally. And as she sat down at the machine, she said... Uh, Go ahead, Danny. Start dictating. I'll take down your speech on the typewriter. Okay, Evie. Let's see how I start now. Mm. Oh, yes. Friend. <laughs> I got a lot of friends, I know. Go ahead, Danny, continue. <laughs> yes. It is indeed a privilege for me to address you good people of our community on this most important occasion. Continue. <laughs> That's all I get for that? Mm hmm My goodness. You know, Evie, you could type much better if you took the cover off the machine. Well, Danny, I haven't typed in quite a few years. You know, I once worked as a secretary for a firm that printed theater tickets. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. A father and his son ran it, but I quit. Oh, why? Well, the son stuck to business, printing tickets, but the old man was always making passes. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Yes, never mind reviewing your jaded past, Evie. We've got work to do. Right now, we've got to get out and sell some bonds in the neighborhood. Now, come on, Evie, let's make a house-to-house -house canvas, huh? <laughs> Well, here's the first house, Evie. I hope we can sell a bond here. Good afternoon. I'd like to talk to you about... Uh, well, the... well, it's my prize of football at Denji K. Well, hello, Professor Tortoni. It's good to see you again. Oh, sure, and it's good to see you, too. <laughs> it's like I always say, there's no friend like an old friend when the good weather gets it together. <laughs> right? Right, yeah. yeah. Say, this is a very well-built house you have here, Professor. Oh, sure. This house, she's built out of a stunko. <laughs> built out of what? Stunko. Stunko? Sure, you know, that's a plaster with a goose pimples. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Miss Arden. Uh, what's the matter? You look so puzzly. Don't you, uh, don't you think I talk plain? <laughs> Well, you accentuate the positive and you eliminate the negative, but, mister, you're a mess in between. <laughs> well, Professor, we came over to see if we could sell you a war bond. Oh, sure, I'll buy a bond. Well, that's fine, Professor, because buying bonds is very important. You see, it not only helps shortens the war, but it'll all, uh, also help to prevent inflation. Uh, inflation? What's this inflation? Well, uh, inflation? <laughs> inflation is, uh... Well, it's, uh... That is, I, I, I think in... Henry, Henry Morgenthau. Coming, Mother. <laughs> but really, Professor, let me give you a simple example of inflation. You see, five years ago, you went into a store to buy a suit of clothes. Uh, six years. <laughs> All right, six years. The suit cost you $25. Uh, Fourteen ninety-five. and ninety-five. <laughs> All right, fourteen ninety-five. Now that's a, with a two pair of pants. <laughs> All right, with two pair of pants. Now that was a fair price. Now then comes a boom era. More money's in circulation. The dollar buys less, and as a result, the same suit costs you forty dollars, and without two pair of pants. Now do you understand what inflation is? Oh, sure. Inflation is a suit with one pair of pants. <laughs> Say, Evie, uh, 
I think we might cover more territory if we separate. You take the east side, and I'll take the west side, and I'll get to La Brea before you. Okay, Danny, good luck. All right. Well, hello. Hello, is the man in the house in? I'm the man in the house. Oh, your apron fooled me. <laughs> fooled the ice man, too. <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, yes, yes. You're B Vitamin Pillbox, vice president of the radio station. How come you're not down at the studio? Well, you see, today is my wife's day out. And I have to take care of the house. Oh, no, no. I yeah. do. <laughs> but I keep in touch with things. While I'm doing the housework, I keep the radio on. I make the beds with Vic and Sade. Then I lux my undies with Ma Perkins. <laughs> and at 10.15, I mop the floor with John Judge and Watts. And then... Uh-oh. Time for this changing world. <laughs> Look, Mr. Pillbox, I came here to see you about buying some bonds for the seventh war loan. Oh, I'll be glad to buy one. I'll take a $25 bond. Uh, you better make that a $50 bond. All right, make it a $100 bond. <laughs> That baby can talk me into anything. Mm -hmm. He's a pretty bright little fella. <laughs> what do you matter with your baby? What do you matter? What do you matter with your baby? I, uh, I think I know what's wrong with him. But you'll have to help me. Uh. It's a two-man job. You know how it's done? I think so. Let me see. You take this corner and fold it over here. And you take this corner. No, 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 no. You take the other corner and fold it over there. That's right. Then you take this last corner and pin it up there. Hmm. Well, I guess if I can do it on my head, I can do it on the baby. <laughs> well, I hope Danny's making out as well as I am. I think I can sell another bond at this house. Well, hello, Evie. Come on in. Why, Ken Niles, I didn't know you lived in this neighborhood. Yeah, I just moved in. Oh, you've got a nice place here, Ken. Very charming. Very well constructed, too. Why, the walls go clear up to the ceiling. <laughs> yes, I like it very much, Eve. In fact, I call this house my blue ribbon. Oh, how cute. Yeah. And, and say, take a look at my swimming pool out there, Evie. Pabst gave it to me. Well, what do you know? That's the first swimming pool I ever saw with a head on it. Ken, I really dropped over to uh, talk to you. To find out more about... about Pabst? Well, no. gladly, Evie. I'm only too happy to enlighten you. In the first place, Pabst is the blended beer. Full flavor blended from never less than 33 fine brews. You see, the Pabst Blue Ribbon process of blending is the only way to ensure that grand, even goodness. That rich, full flavor you find in this great beer. It has the most delicious, tingling, appetizing flavor that ever flowed from a bottle. And just one sip of it will make you say... This really is one of the world's great beers. So order it with confidence and serve it with pride. For no matter where you go, there is no finer beer, no finer blend than Pabst Blue Ribbon. You're right, Ken. And no matter where you go, there is no finer buy, no bigger bargain than United States war bonds. <laughs> Dear Diary, Wednesday, our door-to-door -door bond selling campaign is moving right along. In a really put our neighborhood quota over the top, we held a huge rally on our block. When I stepped up on the speaker's platform to open the rally, the crowd rose to its feet and cheered. All right. <laughs> Thank you, crowd. <laughs> hmm, maybe I'd better forget the speech and get the rally started with a rousing number from Harry James and his music makers. Harry, let's have Blue Lou.
Thank you, Harry. Thank you very much. You really got our rally off to a great start. Say, Danny, if you want to see what I'm doing for the bond drive, come and take a look at the sign I've set up over my booth. Oh, well, 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 what do you know? Buy a bond and kiss a blonde. <laughs> That's a great idea, Evie. Who's the blonde? I am. Oh, oh, well, don't worry. We'll think of something else. Anyway. <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, I'll send, sell plenty of bonds. Now, just stand back and hold this fresh lipstick. All right, gentlemen, step right up. Gather around. Every man who purchases a war bond at this booth will get a free charge, a great big kiss from me. <laughs> get a free charge? <laughs> Go away, little boy. Send your father over. <laughs> Come on, gentlemen, buy a bond. Kiss these lips and beat the nips. All right, don't crowd now. Who'll be the first man to buy a $1,000 bond and get a big kiss from me? All right, who'll be the first to buy a $500 bond and get a kiss from me? Who'll be the first to buy a $100 bond? $50 bond? $25 bond? Does anyone a buddy buddy... Does anybody want to buy a 10-cent war stamp? Oh, come on! Doesn't anybody want to kiss Miss Arden? Oh, that upset me, sir. Thanks, Rover. <laughs> oh, no. I'd better run down to the drugstore and get myself a bottle of perfume. Maybe that'll help. What kind are you going to get? Take it easy, dear. <laughs> I'm going to get a two-gallon bottle of Come Hither, Hold Me, Kiss Me, Squeeze Me, Crush Me, Wow, Eau de Cologne. <laughs> See you later, Dan. <laughs> Okay, Evie, I'll take care of the booth while you're going. I'll see if I can sell some bonds. All right, folks, uh, step right up and get your war bonds. Heavy, uh, heavy, heavy, uh, best buy in the world. Hey, United States uh, war bonds, uh, best Hello. war bonds. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, oh. Can I sell you a war bond? You probably can. I have no resistance. <laughs> you haven't? No. Oh, if my scoutmaster were only here to advise me. <laughs> no, seriously, would you uh, like to buy a war bond? Oh, I'd like to, but everything I have is tied up. <laughs> Investment in the stock market. Oh, you're so convincing. <laughs> uh, the, can I put you down for a bond? Certainly. Hmm. Can I put you down for another bond? Sure. Well? Now you can put me down. <laughs> well, now, how about it? Uh, how about what? The kiss. The <laughs> kiss. How about what? How about what? The kiss. Uh, oh, the k k oh, 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 the k kiss, yes. Yeah. Oh, that's for the girl. Oh, well, I'm a girl. Oh, are you? I, I mean, do you? Do you? I, oh, yes, come to think of it, you are. Well, you know, every bond you buy represents something, you see. For instance, a $25 bond buys bullets, mm -hmm. and a $50 bond buys a submachine gun, and so forth. Now, what size bond do you want to buy? Well, I'll just kiss you, and you can name it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You've just bought a Jeep. <laughs> You've just bought an airplane. <laughs> Blow the whistle, Captain. We've just launched a battleship. While Danny tabulates his bond sales to date, Kitty Callan joins Harry James and his music makers and keeps the bond rally going by singing the very lovely ballad, I Didn't Know About You.
could be found And yet what else could I do I didn't know about you Darling, now I know I had the loneliest yesterday. Every day in your arms, I know for once in my life. Uh, by the way, how are the bond sales going at your booth? Oh, fine. I sold a hundred bonds and gave away a hundred and one kisses. A hundred bonds and a hundred and one kisses? Yes. One of my customers had two heads. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm glad my drummer is patriotic. <laughs> how about you, Harry? Want to buy a bond? Well, I'd be glad to, Evie, but right now, I think you've got another customer. Well, well. Hello, little boy. Hello, Blondie. How's the kissing business? <laughs> fine. Fine. Who are you, anyway? What's your name? I'm Daniel QPK, and I'm three and a half years old, going on two. How can you be three and a half going on two? I'm backward. <laughs> hey, mister, are you a fella? Hey, mister, are you a fella? Hey, are you? Uh, well, no, I'm Harry James. Oh, Harry James! Oh, boy, Harry James! Who's he? <laughs> you mean to say you've never heard of Harry James, the famous trumpet player? Oh, is that who he is? Hey, Mr. James, let me play your trumpet, would you? Let me go down, blow your trumpet, hey, Mr. James. Okay, Dan okay, all right, little boy. All right. right. Now I'll... blow right into the mouthpiece. Oh. I'll hold your script. Okay. That's pretty, ain't it? Yeah. I, th I think you'd better give it up, though. You know, uh, that'll never get you anything. Oh, no? Mm -hmm. Got you, Betty Gravel. <laughs> Now, look, little boy, you're blocking the booth, and I'm trying to sell war bonds. Come on, now, go away. No. Go on, go away. <laughs> Besides, you shouldn't kick my dog. Kick your dog? What dog? I don't see any dog. Oh, you can't see him. He's invisible. <laughs> invisible? Well, what kind of a dog is he? I don't know. I can't see him. <laughs> I told you he's invisible. Ain't some women stupid. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't married to you. Me too. Now go home. Step right up, gentlemen. Step right up, Get your war bonds here. Get your war bonds here. Look, will you please go home? I can't go home. Why not? Because the finance man is waiting and I owe three payments on my automobile. <laughs> automobile? How can a little boy like you drive a car? I wear glasses. <laughs> logical. Hello, Eve. How are the bond sales going? Oh, huh? fine, Ken. Would you like to add to my sales? Why, certainly, Evie. Here you are. Well, a hundred dollars. Thank you, Ken. Now, uh, how about my kiss? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. He's going to kiss her now. <laughs> I got to see this. Oh, come on now, little boy. Go away. Oh, no. <laughs> Go on now. No, I don't know. <laughs> now, look, little boy. If you don't go away, I'll have to... <laughs> You stepped on my cat. Cat? What cat? Don't bother asking him, Ken. His cat is invisible. <laughs> she talks funny, don't she? 
He's got a dog that's inwisible, too. Not anymore. Why? What happened to him? My horse ate him. <laughs> My horse is a racehorse, and we couldn't race him for a couple of months, but now we can. Why? You know why? No. Because they just lifted his curfew. <laughs> Hey, look, Evie, maybe I better come back later and collect my kiss. So long. So long, Ken. Say, Blondie, why do you kiss every guy that comes up to this booth? Hmm? Why do I kiss everybody? Yes. Don't you see that sign over the booth? Yes. You can read, can't you? Yes. Well, what does it say? I don't know. <laughs> it says that with every bond that's purchased, I give away a free kiss. Ah. Mm-hmm. Well, how long has this been going on? <laughs> Give me three billion, trillion, skillion dollars worth. Three billion, skillion dollars worth? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm rich. I'm a regular John D. rocket smeller. Now, just a minute. Where would a little boy like you get all that money? Oh, I won it shooting marbles with Keith Fulton. Shooting marbles? Yeah. I used a loaded Aggie. <laughs> you know those Aggies that you shoot with, the, with all colors? On, How much oh. do you actually have in cash? Well, let me see. Uh, cash, I bought. Four billion, three hundred and ninety-six thousand and ten million. How much have you actually got? I'm getting to it. Stop nagging me. (laughs) I'm not a contaminamina. Well. Contaminamina. Well. Contaminamina. Contaminamina. Well. I got exactly twelve pennies, three bottle caps, and an autographed picture of Gabriel Heater. Me ten cents and I'll give you a war stamp. I bought a war stamp at school yesterday, and when I licked it to paste it in my book, it tasted so good I swallowed it. Oh <laughs> Why, that's terrible. No, it isn't terrible. It's wonderful. <laughs> in ten years, my stomach will be worth two seventy pounds. <laughs> well, anyway, here's your stamp. All right, now, give me my tits. Just a second. You only get a kiss if you buy a bond. I want to see the manager. Come, come now. Run along, little boy. I want to see the manager. Now, please. I <laughs> want to see the manager. Shut up. Welcher. <laughs> come on now. Give me a kiss. Look, little boy. You're only three and a half years old. Yeah, I know. But when I kiss a girl, it makes me feel older. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it makes you feel older, okay. Here. Well... I want to see the manager. <laughs> well, Evie, I'm back. Oh, uh, he came back to get his kiss. Oh, you're still here, are you? Yes, and while you were away, the lady gave me a war stamp and a kiss for ten cents or three bottle caps. Oh, you... Uh, bottle caps, huh? See, that interests me. Are they uh, Paps Blue Ribbon bottle caps? What? Are they Pap's Blue Ribbon bottle caps? I don't know. I got them for my father. Well, uh, let me see. Yes, they are Pap's Blue Ribbon bottle caps. I surprised him, didn't I? (laughs) Yes, your father shows rare judgment. For these bottle caps seal in the flavor and goodness of one of the world's great beers. And the reason for its greatness is blending. That's why Pabst is more than just another beer. It's the blended beer, full flavor blended from never less than 33 fine brews. Yes, blending is the only way in the world to obtain that distinctive tang and sparkle, that day-in, day-out goodness, that true and perfect beer flavor you enjoy in every sip of Pabst Blue Ribbon. So order it with confidence and serve it with pride, for no matter where you go, there is no finer beer, no finer blend than Pat's Blue Ribbon. Dear Diary, today I'm very proud because our neighborhood bond rally was a huge success. And around out the rally, Harry James and I got together on a song which we call Concerto for War Bonds, Opus 7, with music by Sir Arthur Sullivan and special lyrics by Milady Sylvia the Fine. It went like this. When you're buying a bond, there is something beyond the mere fact that you simply are buying it. When your country has need, you are lucky indeed to be able to keep on supplying it. As a venture financial, it's very substantial. You're not merely handing your money in. Though for your country, it is at the same time it is an investment that gathers the honey in. Now, I could do some preaching rhetoric or reaching persuade you with verbiage tactical. But here is a viewpoint that might make a new point at least it's exceedingly practical. When you buy in the drive, 1875, about you 25 actual dollars. Put the very same sum out a new lonely comma with several items as follows. A hat with a bead which you don't really need because a couple of wearings will be... It, or a hairdo that's new with a lot of frou-frou, and your husband will probably hate it. 
You could buy a new dress that would satisfy less than the dress you are already wearing. Or some fancy new ties which you soon realize all your brothers are secretly sharing. Or a fancy new shawl which you don't need at all for the weather is getting too hot for it. You could go to a nightclub or put on the bike club or hangover's all that you've got for it. Though your Aunt Mary loves very fancy new gloves if today you are buying a gift for her. She would be just as fond of a shiny new bonnet and undoubtedly more of a lift for her. If you want to be thrifty with 3750, your bond brings you half of his C-note. While you're saving your dough at the same time you know you are sounding for freedom the keynote. For the bonds that you bought while in Europe we fought with a real world all for each D-Day. If it weren't for that who knows where we'd be at. We might never have had a V-E day. But the... War isn't one that's only half done. We've got plenty to go, and we've got to have dough to keep sending our guys all the guns and supplies, all the planes, all the tanks, all the best for the Yanks, all the things that we can to demolish Japan. Got to back the attack with a mind single track, not a loan, not a lapse, and I don't mean perhaps if you want to sound taps for the Japs. Bye, bun. Bye, bun. Bye, bun. Ah, that was great, Danny. Great. Are there uh, any more entries in your diary? Yes, Ken. I've got a little memorandum here which says, Don't forget NRW. But I don't know what it means. NRW. Any phone number? I, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute, Ken. I have it. Now I remember what NRW stands for. National Restaurant Week. You see, in wartime, what we eat is particularly important. That's why the week of May 7th has been set aside as National Restaurant Week. The slogan is, Eat Well to Work Well. And the purpose of the week is to give a big hand to the restaurants that plan our meals so carefully that we get all the vitamins in the alphabet. And good old-fashioned flavor, too. So this week and every week, remember that good food and a balanced diet help to keep the nation healthy. And that in wartime, you have to eat well to work well. Well, that's good sound advice, Danny. Oh, thank you, Ken. And remember, the next time you eat out, go to your favorite restaurant and say... Oh, there's good food tonight. Good night, (laughs) Jill. This program was directed by Dick Mack and was brought to you by the Fat Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Peoria, Illinois. This is PBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.